Hi, this is Andrea with the Fieldview team. Today I want to walk you through 10 tips and tricks that you can use to troubleshoot if you're having trouble mapping or keeping your drive connected to your iPad. For tip number one, I want you to check if your equipment is active and selected. I'm going to go into equipment. My tractor and my air seeder are good to go. If you are having trouble with having gaps in your maps or something is going on when you're mapping, you can try rebuilding your equipment and changing those measurements or give our support team a call. I'm going to go home and into the map screen. Tip number two, ensure you have the correct field selected. I have this demo field. I can change that by clicking on there. Tip number three, ensure our panes are all green here. If they are yellow, you can click on them to edit or change that information to make sure that's good to go. If you did the first three things and you're still having trouble, I would recommend completely closing out of your cab app, which is double click and swipe up. Now when you go back into your cab app, it will restart. If you do that and you're still having trouble with connection, I would recommend unplugging your field view drive, going into the settings on the iPad, going into Bluetooth. You can see my drive is not connected anymore. Click on this white dot, forget this device, forget, and then repair. So you would plug your drive back in, your drive would show up under other devices, you would go back into the cab app and connect it in. If you do that and you're still having trouble, I want you to move on to tip number six. Tip number six is reset your network settings. To do so, scroll down in the settings until you find general, scroll down there until you find reset, and here you will see reset network settings. This is something you may have never done before. It will restart your iPad, so you will see that white apple symbol. It will also forget all of your Wi-Fi passwords, so you will need to re-enter those in once your iPad restarts. I click on here, I get prompted to enter my password, and then it gives me another prompt. I'm going to click cancel for right now. That is tip number six. Once you reset those network settings, you go back into Bluetooth, plug that drive in, wait for it to pop up under other devices. It will prompt you to pair, and then it will be connected. Then you would go into your cab app, go into settings, devices, and you can see it connected in all by itself. You may have to click tap to connect. For tip number seven, I want you to go into edit and diagnostics. And here's where you can identify exactly what information that drive is reading. Currently, I'm not connected to a piece of equipment, so I don't have any of this information. But when the drive is able to read equipment information, you will see these little dots turn green. The next thing I want to point your attention to, tip number eight, is the offload status. If you feel you can't view some of your maps in the cab app after you've finished a particular field activity, come here to make sure that the information from your drive has been completely offloaded to your iPad. If they say less than 100%, connect your drive back to your iPad and allow them to go until they reach 100%. Tip number nine is all about Cloud Sync. When I go home, I see this Cloud Sync button in the bottom of my Cab App home screen. Right now it's spinning, which means it's Cloud Syncing. If it wasn't spinning, I could click on it and force it to Cloud Sync. If I go into Help and Cloud Sync Status, I'm able to see the status of all of my fields. Currently, this means all of my fields are uploaded to the cloud. I'm going to go home and go into settings. If you're having trouble with connectivity, we do recommend disabling the cloud sync completely while you're collecting data through FieldView. Once you get a cellular service, Wi-Fi, or your cell phone hotspot, you can re-enable that cloud sync let the information go to the cloud and then disable it again while you're mapping. The last tip I have for you, tip number 10, is to turn off other Bluetooth sources. If you have other Bluetooth devices in the cab of your tractor, turn them off if possible to avoid interference with the Bluetooth from the drive to the iPad. 
Those are the quick tips I had for today. For more information, please reach out to support at 1-888-924-7475. Thanks for listening.